Hi guys, this is a demonstration video for Arduino FO Feral Oriented Control Library called Simple FOC. Uh, the library itself is intended for all types of Arduino controllers and uh, and uh, a brushless DC motors. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using this this particularly big DC motor, which I find really cool, um, with 20, 28 uh, poles and um, and uh, 90 millimeters in diameter. It's um, <clears throat> it's coupled with AMT103 uh, 2048 impulses per revolution encoder, uh, which is basically click on encoder. The the idea behind it is that it can be clicked on, mounted very 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 simply on any type of shaft that you you might have with your motor and uh, in this in my case for example i don't even have a shaft in this motor this is a hollow shaft motor so i put a m4 screw through the motor and through the encoder and this plastic uh, holder and i just i was able to mount the encoder and uh, and everything works perfectly without any any problem so in uh, in terms of uh, controllers, I'm actually not going to be using an Arduino board. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I'm not using it because I want to show you this HM uh, BGC uh, controller. This is a Chinese uh, controller, one of those Chinese controllers where you don't know actual origin or intention for it. It should be a gimbal controller. But I'm not 100% sure, and the, the software for it is relatively uh, uh, complicated to find. But uh, the, the idea, what I wanted to say is that it has uh, a, a, a Atmega th uh, 328 chip, uh, which you can easily program with Arduino interface. It has user, uh, sorry, it has USB interface as well, uh, which makes it uh, particularly, particularly cool. It has all the power electronics needed to run it on in between 12 and 24 volts. And the coolest part of it is that it can run two BLDC motors directly from the chip itself. So it's directly from the from the board itself. It has two brushless DC terminals. So basically using the field-oriented control library, uh, simple FOC, you can run two brushless DC motors using field-oriented control from this board. And this board only costs in between 15 and $20. It depends. Uh, uh, sometimes they are more expensive, sometimes uh, less. I think the most I paid was 25 and the least I paid is 13 <laughs> So it depends on the season. Uh, in this uh, sense, to set up everything, you start with the encoder. So the what you need to set up is you just connect the, the the your wires to the to the pins of the encoder the black and the red one are 5 volts and ground and of course uh, blue and gr green <laughs> are a and b channels of the encoder additionally i'm going to be using the vacuum suction cup holder for this motor of mine i find it very convenient the next thing you need to connect uh, is your motor directly to the motor one terminal. And we use the number of wires in this. Okay, so this is so you connected motor, you connected uh, A and B, uh, A and B channels, and you connected the 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 plus uh, five volt and ground of the encoder. Next thing I need uh, is a power supply. In my case at the moment, I don't have a real power supply, so I'm using a uh, lithium-polymer battery, which works perfectly well. So I'm going to connect it using this connector, just uh, due to convenience. And the last thing, uh, I, I have a simple application which uh, I can uh, control from the ser 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 serial terminal so i am i have connected it to the to the usb interface uh, next thing i need to do i connected the serial uh, term the serial serial communication to my to my board at the moment the the library the motor is initializing and it now it's initialized the the motor is already running and holding its position and resisting my my <laughs> attacks 
<laughs> Basically, the first control loop I want to show you is the angle control loop, where you control the, the rotation angle of your motor. For example, let me move it 180 degrees. Maybe to negative 180 degrees. Or to zero again. Or maybe to 90 degrees. You can see that the motor moves quite fast, negative 90 degrees and zero. You can see that angle control loop is quite fast, that the, the how fast and how slow it is, that's something you can set in the library directly. I'm, I set it to some value. For example, the velocity of movements in between the, the positions is, is uh, limited to 10 radians per second. In your application, maybe it's going to be 100, maybe it's going to be 0 0.2, I don't know. This is something that's uh, specific to the, the application. But... Uh, uh, this is this is uh, it's very easy to use. For example, I can move it ten rotations, not just one or similar. So this is ten rotations, and it comes back to the to the sorry, it's five rotations, five rotations, and then it comes back to the same location. So for example, let me move it to zero again. Back, you can see that the motor moves uh, moves pretty fast and smooth. Then. What the next thing, so you can imagine a lot of, a uh, lot of applications for this control loop, like in robotics, like in any type of uh, application where you need, uh, precision, precision, uh, position control. Next control loop where, what I want, where, uh, which I want to show you is the velocity control loop. So basically you set the velocity you want to achieve. So at the moment, let me move it with half, uh, half rotation per second. So this is our motor moving with half rotation negative half rotation, maybe full rotation, or the other direction. It can go even faster. And uh, negative. But the cool thing about it is that it can go like, this is a half rotation per second, but it can go up. <laughs> the, the, these, these are the negative effects of vacuum cups. So, um, uh, so half rotation per second, but it can go to something like one radian per second, which is relatively slow, or 0 0.5 radians per second even. So you can see that the rotation is quite, uh, still quite um, smooth, 0 0.2. Now the the how, how good the how good the algorithm performs in very slow rotations depends also on the parameters of the controller PI controller is inside that's something uh, also you can set uh, quite easily in the program and and uh, and parameterize your movements and uh, fine tune it to your applications for me at the moment it's quite untuned <laughs> in this in this sense so this is one radian per second and zero of course with zero it's going to try to not hold the position, but it's going to try to not move because the referent velocity, the set point velocity that I put was zero. So if I put it to one, it's going to move with one, but it's going to resist my, my even in either pushing or pulling both. Two, it's going to want to stay in one radian per second. Okay, of course, uh, the, the applications for this kind of control loop is also pretty obvious. Uh, wherever you would need to control the velocity of the motor, this is, uh, this is the, um, this is already implemented for you in this library. The next control loop is actually not a control loop. Um, it's uh, basically pure field oriented control algorithm, which um, allows you to set voltage to the motor directly. So in this sense, you don't have a BLDC motor anymore. You have brushed DC motor, regular DC motor, and it behaves the same. So you, you, you are telling them the, your controller how much volts, how many volts do you want to set to the motor? It sets it and the motor turns. It's exactly the same as the, the DC motor. So for example, if I put two volts, the motor is going to start turning. If I put minus two volts, it's going to turn on the other side. The, um, you are not controlling velocity. You are not controlling position. The only thing you are controlling is how many volts did you s are you setting to the motor. And basically, what your controller does is just commutates, does the commutation, which is done in hardware for regular DC motors, and here it's done in software. So your your algorithm is following your motor while he's doing rotation, but while uh, it it rotates. So 
the how uh, so basically it behaves the same as the DC motor. So if I try to stop it with two volts, it's going to stop quite simply, quite uh, quite easily. So if I put five volts, I'm going to have a lot more trouble stopping it, but it's going to also rotate much faster. So it's like a regular DC motor. If I put zero, I'm going to be able to do whatever I want with it because um, because there is no voltage on the motor itself. So if I pull two, it's going to rotate uh, slower. If I put one, it's going to rotate even slower and I'm going to be able to do whatever I want with it. If I put six, it's going to move very fast. And if I put one, again, it's the same. So... The, um, this control loop is more intended for people who have very cost custom applications where they don't want to use the control loops implemented in this library, but they need to implement their own control loops, such as, I don't know, maybe uh, Segway or, or similar applications where you would need uh, acceleration control and, and the similar similar uh, similar control loops. So in this sense, um, uh, I'm going to stop this demonstration video. I hope uh, that you, you got uh, an idea how this library works, uh, how simple it is to, to run. And uh, for example, uh, the, the controller uh, that you can run this application on are, of course, Arduino Uno, Omega, and similar controllers. But you, there are also, some people have ported it to ESP32, uh, some STM boards and blue pills so um, the, the, the algorithm is not limited to, to Arduinos and um, so I'm going to put the, the link to the description uh, I'm going to probably make some more videos uh, explaining better how to set up the code and how to run it uh, how to run the, uh, the algorithm exactly uh, and um, feel free to contact me if you have any suggestions or, or concerns I would be really happy to hear from you and thank you for watching